Today on Tricro Studios, we take a look at the Boya BYM4C cardioid lavalier microphone. I bought it myself, no one sent this to me. If you've watched this channel over the years, uh, you've probably noticed that the audio while I'm talking is absolutely atrocious. I know that, uh, but I'm always researching guitars and amps and stuff like that. And I don't know, I'm more interested in actually playing than talking. Um, so I haven't really spent that time on, you know, spending the money on getting one. Uh, or a lavalier microphone or a shotgun microphone um, and haven't really made that choice but I got this for ten dollars uh, on a Black Friday sale it was like a thirty dollar um, lavalier microphone with a twenty dollar coupon so I figured why not I got one for me and got one for Kevin on this channel um, so basically uh, what I want to do here is we'll actually see what's inside the box um, and then I'm gonna do um, two little tests I guess you would say um, one with camera audio and one with this going into the camera and then one with this uh, going into an actual like mic preamp so here's the box you open the box this falls out uh, and this is basically just a little bit of the specs and then inside you got the microphone uh, itself and then the XLR connection. So I wanted to make sure that I got an XLR connection and not um, like a mini headphone jack because I don't have anything to plug that into. Everything I have is XLR. Um, so my concern with this is that it may not be long enough. Uh, so here's the microphone itself. Here's the connection. And I believe you do have to um, uh, take this apart and put a AA battery in. Uh, there's no real instructions that came with it. Uh, there's just the spec sheet and an address. So I'm sure you have to screw this out and whatever. All right, so now I have it connected to an API 512C microphone preamp. Um, and you can hear how my voice sounds. So uh, what I'll do here, I'll talk for just a moment. And then I'll probably um, see if I can add some... EQing to it. We'll see how that goes. Uh, but I am a little worried that it could just sound completely tinny and have absolutely no end and having no way to add any low end uh, as well. I'm also a little worried because it's a $30 microphone and not like 100 and something or 200 or 300, um, something that has a little more quality to it. Uh, I am a little worried that it's going to be. Uh, airy I guess you'd say there would be a lot of um, just noise and stuff like that coming to it so uh, it may be better than the camera audio that I'm using it may not so this is really how I'm gonna find out anyway I've added some effects to my voice so we'll see what that sounds like and see if uh, or sorry EQing so we'll see if that actually um, livens things up makes things better or not uh, one thing I did want to note the uh, cable itself is uh, about two meters or so so it gives you a little bit of slack but you may want to uh, see if I don't know you can daisy chain things uh, with another XLR cable or something like that to give you a little more length because um, it does mean that I either have to be very very close to my um, where I have my uh, XLR inputs for my mic preamps um, or I have to be very close to the camera and uh, I don't even have this line tucked into my shirt or anything like that. So there you go. There is, I guess, uh, a sound test and showing you what comes with the Boya BYM4C. And uh, we'll see if maybe I start using this in some upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.